forward and back. And I just want us to find our weight somewhere into the center. So you can up up through the balls of your feet, through onto your toes, and then through onto your heels. Okay, when you're ready, placing your feet down so your weight is distributed between your right and your left foot. From here, your knees are in line with your hip bones. Now your hip bones are symmetrical, so you're not leaning side to side. So your feet are perfectly distributed with your body weight, and then your pelvis, which lays just underneath your hip bones, is symmetrical as well. And that's why I ask you to place your weight between your right and your left. Okay. From this position, you brace the abdominals. Think about them being nice and strong. All right. So rather than just pulling in and, and not breathing, just think about as if I've got a ball in my hand and I'm going to throw the ball towards you. And there we go. So that's lovely braced abdominals. Okay. Taking your shoulders down. So let's just roll, roll them up, drop them down, and take them back. That's it. Lovely. And again, up, round, and back. I want you to look over your right shoulder. Over to your right, bring your head around the center, and then over to your left. And then we're going to do some neck rolls. So I'm just going to drop my chin to my chest, and I'm going to allow my neck just to roll over to the right side, and then round into the front, and then over to the left side. And I want you to ask yourself, how is this feeling today? And you may feel that you want to spend more time on your right side than your left side. I'll leave that to you, what feels good for you. And one more time. Okay, I'm going to bring my head back into horizontal. And then I'm going to lift back. So I'm going to open up my neck. Jaw is soft. Mouth is open. And then bringing that back down. Okay. Mindful breathing. Let's place our um, left hand onto our tummy and then our right hand onto the rib wall. Okay. And then from there, I want you to close your eyes and take some nice deep breaths. So breathing in and breathing out. And you can close your eyes as you breathe in and out. And I want you to ask yourself as you're breathing and counting your breath, breathing in for four and out for four. And I just want you to continue your own breathing in for four and out for four. Whether your eyes are open or closed, asking yourself, how do I feel this moment today? And underneath your hands, you should be feeling your ribs expand, so your right hand moves away as you take that breath in. And your belly wall inflates, so your left hand is pushing forward. And your next breath, I would like your left hand to stay still. So as you breathe in and you breathe out especially, you keep the tummy wall nice and strong. So there is no moving of the abdominal wall. It's staying braced and powerful. Okay. Release your hands down, guys, and just take them down at the side of you. Place your right hand onto your shoulder and just turn back. Keeping the abdominals nice and fired up. Yeah. So keeping us steady with our posture and then the other side so the stronger the core muscles the less the other body the less of the other parts of our body have to work yeah so lower back pain could be just because we're not standing correctly and then arms both together around and then last time okay I'm going to mobilize the spine before we come down onto the mat. So I'm going to show you sideways. So I'm going to drop my head, neck and shoulders. I'm going to roll down as far as my knees. And so I flatten my back out. Yeah, so I'm not here, not yet. I'm into a flat back. Now I'm going to draw my spine up, bringing in my abdominals. And I'm going to come up towards the ceiling. So I'm flexing my spine. 
and then I take it away into an extension. Yep. Okay, so flex the spine into your cat stretch and push through flat back into extension. So you feel the stretch straight away down into the back of the thighs. And again, guys, do what's right for you. If you find the extension is too much, then just go to flat back and don't go any further. And again, inhale, exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. And then drop chin to chest and roll back up. And bring in your shoulders back and down. We're going to roll down onto the mat together and come into a seated position, okay? And then we'll come into a lion position. So drop in your head, neck and shoulders. Roll it all the way down. Hands coming down towards the mat. And you're into the downward facing dog position. Yeah, so I'm into a V, yeah? Into a V position. From there, I'm just going to, from here, just move my legs right and left. Just release off. So calf stretch, lifting and lowering the heels. One more. Down and through. We're going to come down onto the mat by dropping down on the knees. Then we're going to turn over into a seated position. Okay. From your seated position, I would like you now to either stay there in that position or lie down. Yeah, it's up to you how you want this to be. Okay. You may find that you're more comfortable sitting against a wall. Okay. Well, however com whatever your comfortable position is, I want you to find yourself there. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to ask you in a moment to do some breathing with me. We're going to lie back to begin with. I'm going to come back down onto my mat. Okay. And now I'm going to place my right hand onto my tummy wall and my left hand onto my ribs. And I'm going to breathe. So I'm going to do the same thing as when I was standing. So I'm now into my neutral spine. My body is comfortable. I'm going to breathe in. And I'm going to breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. And on these breaths, I don't want you to brace your abdominals. I want them to relax. I want the air in your belly to come in and come out. And I want your uh, abdominals just to completely go into relaxation. So there's no tension. As when we were standing, we were braced. But now everything is almost like jelly-like and relaxed. Close your eyes if you need to, but just focus on your breath. Focus on your breathing in through the nose and out through the nose or in through the nose and out through the mouth. But whatever works for you guys, I just want you to be aware of the breath as you take as this is your time. It may be each time when you're watching this relaxation and meditation, or it might be something that you catch up with at the end of the day. But whenever this is your time. And I want you at this moment to reflect on how you've been feeling over the last two weeks. Do you feel like you've been stressed? Like life is galloping away with you? You're getting pressure from other people. But just reflect on those feelings, just for a few moments. And now fast forward to how you're feeling right now, right at this very moment. Your family, your religion, your destiny, they're all in your hands. And any 
deep areas of your life. Things that you are dreading doing. They need to go today. Make a decision and let it go. Breathe in and say the word let. Breathe out and go. Let go. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. So once the toxicity disappears from your life, then something new will appear without you even knowing it. But you must get rid of the toxicity first and clear some space. And a new opportunity will present itself when the toxicity is gone. And you will feel so good when you've got rid of it. You'll feel fresh, energized, relaxed, and ready to start the rest of your day, your week, or your month. So we're going to clear some space in your mind. So your meditation is about relaxing, centering, and calming the mind. So I would like you just to reflect on your day so far. Since you got rest this morning, what did you do? Have you seen anybody today? Conversations? And take yourself through your day until we arrive at this lunchtime relaxation. And every day there is a new opportunity to learn what we did before and move on. We can't change what's happened so far today and we can't do anything about it, but we can learn from it and move on. So we know for the future, if we are faced with a similar moment again, that we are able to act and speak and do things differently because we can't change what's happened but we can do something about it if it happens again. So, so far, all your day activities, just let them pass through your mind noticing anything, absolutely anything that's happened that you may have done differently. A conversation on the phone, a chat over the fence with a neighbour. Whatever it may be. So I want you to congratulate, your, congratulate yourself for all the great things that have happened in the last two weeks. And no matter how small you perceive them to be, you did it and you made them happen. And the small consistent habits we do on a daily basis can turn into big personal developments 
and big changes. So congratulate yourself and feel happy. I would like you to ask you I'd like to ask you to feel positive about the things that have happened today. The things that we sometimes we take for granted. The air that we breathe. Possibly the view from our kitchen window, the view from our bedroom, the flowers possibly in our garden, the plants in our house, our families and friends in our life. Just taking this moment to feel gratitude as to what we have and how special it, all, it is to us. So feeling strong in the mind and your body feeling comfortable and calm. And I want you to make a promise to yourself. A promise to be so strong that nothing can disturb my peace of mind. To talk health, happiness and prosperity to every person that I meet or talk to on the phone. To make all my friends feel that there is something worthwhile in them. To look at the sunny side of everything and make my optimism come true. To think only of the best. To work only for the best. And to expect only the best. To be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as I am about my own. And to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. To wear a cheerful expression at all times and give a smile to every, every living creature that I meet. To give so much time to improve in myself that I have no time to criticize others. To be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble To think well of myself and to proclaim this fact to the world. Not in loud words, but in great deeds. To live in the faith that the whole world is on my side. So as long as I am true to the best that is in me. So focus on changing yourself rather than others or the world around you. Never play the blame game as this makes you a victim and you're better than that. You are the only person responsible for your life. By counting your blessings and being grateful, this turns what you have into enough and more.
before you go to bed tonight, before you sleep, I would like you to write down three things that went well today and why they went well. It doesn't have to be anything major. Perhaps somebody complimented you. Maybe I'm grateful that you may feel you might not have enough money, but you have a roof over your head. It might be that you've drunk out of a cup of tea out of your favorite mug. It can be absolutely anything that you're grateful for. The point is, is that it focuses your attention on the positive. And it's a great way to lift your mood and feel happier. So to write down three things that happened today that you are grateful for. And as you sleep tonight, you prepare yourself for the next day, a new day, new opportunities and a fresh start and a new direction. I want you to take some nice deep breaths in and out. And again, lovely deep breath in and out. In your own time, I'd like you to come into a seated position and face forward, please. I'd like you to place your hands onto your shoulders and turn back on your right shoulder. And then over onto your left shoulder. Two, three, and one more time. Lovely. Let's just wrap around the body. So just wrap around, right over, arm over the chest and then left arm over the chest. And then looking over your left shoulder and right shoulder and again left shoulder and right shoulder guys bring your hands together to prayer position thumbs against the sternum and then just turn over to your right side bottom muscles down onto the mat and over to your left side and then to center taking your right hand down left arm over and just reach just a gentle reach. Left hand down, right hand over. And up to the center. Bring your hands together, interlink them, and then press them away. So stretching through those arms. And again, bring it over and through. So stretching through the upper back. And then stretch those fingers out. Take the hands above the head. Lift up to the ceiling and release rainbow the arms all the way around and down till they come down onto the mat thank you very much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed your relaxation and meditation and you got something from it and and thank you again enjoy the rest of your day